What's going on everyone? Mike go back with another PSA submission reveal. This is a six card submission. It's actually a crossover submission, something I've never personally done myself before. A crossover submission is when you take a card that's already been graded and encapsulated by another company, send it to PSA, they check them out, they crack them, and they re-slab them with their own grade. Now, in the past, when I've had my own personal cards, I usually just break them out and send them in to be graded by PSA, totally unbiased opinion. I did have a few people in my group that were interested in potentially doing this, so I sent a few of my cards in along with theirs, and these are the results. This is how we did. This order was sent out in late August, so it took a while. Crossovers take a very long time to be completed as well, so that's another... Uh, thing you might want, to, might want to think about if you're doing a crossover. Of course, if you have a pretty high grade of an expensive card in a BGS or something, then maybe you want to do the crossover. But otherwise, if it's cheap enough in the future, you might want to just crack them out. Anyway, let's get to the cards. First one is a 1995 Select Certified Kirby Puckett Mirror Gold. This one got a PSA 8. This is for Dustin of the channel Dustin and Blake. You guys should check that channel out. They have awesome Kirby Puckett collection. And this one was actually sent in from 5 Star Grading. And it was a Gem 10 from 5 Star, which is obviously not a grading service that many people put a lot of stock into and is not exactly highly collectible. So I think Dustin was okay with the 8. I think that's what he set the minimum grade at. Of course, I'm sure he would have liked a 9 or even higher, but an 8 still great. I mean, look at that card. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks great in that PSA holder. The Mirror Golds are, you know, just beautiful cards put out by Select, by Score Select back there in the mid-90s. So beautiful PSA 8 there of Kirby Puckett. Looks uh, great in the slab. It's better for a registry. Overall, you know, a little, a little more collectible in... The PSA holder, but of course it's all personal preference. So there you go, Dustin. Next card is a 1933 Gaudi. This belongs to Andrew or Anthony, I should say, and it's Taylor Douthith. I don't really uh, know the name that well, but this was an SGC Excellent Five, and they gave it. An excellent five. So a PSA five for the 33 Gaudi from the old SGC holder. Again, just beautiful looking in that slab. Love the 33 Gaudis. Big league chewing gum. Really sweet. So I'm sure five was all right since it was already a five. So a very nice card there for Anthony. And then Anthony had a second one, which he did pretty well on as well. Got an excellent to mint six on the Epirixi, and it was originally an SGC. Excellent to near mint six. So six for six. So trade it up. And a lot one of the reasons a lot of people like to do this, they like to keep their collection consistent. So if they're collecting kind of everything from a certain set in PSA holders, they like to keep it that way. So that's one reason that people have decided to cross things over. Some people, it's for value for whatever reason, but crossovers are something to consider in uh in some cases. So those guys did all right overall. Myself, not quite as good as them. I'm fine with it. Mostly just testing things out. So this is a Reese Hoskins from 2017. Bowman High Tech. It's an autograph. Got a Mint 9. So a Mint 9 that was actually from Beckett. It was a 9.5 Gem Mint. 9.5 Centering. 10 Edges. 10 Corners. 9.5 Surface. PSA considered it a 9. So what that means, I don't know. Is PSA a little too strong now? A little overly uh, tough evaluating their cards? Are they just evaluating it right? Or is Beckett too lenient at one point? I don't know. We had the SGC PSA grades that were pretty consistent. And then we had the five star, which you can't put a lot of stock in that. But the Beckett's not crossing over too well. And let's see the second Beckett. It's a 2007 Bowman Chrome Adrian Peterson 
also received a PSA Mint 9. Now, this card from Beckett BGS was a 9.5 gem mint, 9.5 centering, 9.5 edges, 10 corners, 9.5 surface. So, once again, the Beckett card comes back a grade lower as a PSA 9. For me personally, I just think that Peterson's cool to have in the collection. I'm not personally a fan of Beckett grading or their slabs. I know some people and many people feel differently. They love the uh, strong Beckett holders and they like to get stuff graded by Beckett. That's just not for me. So I'm fine with having the Peterson as a 9. Not a big deal. But of course I'd prefer the 10. But I'm not going to lose an, a minute of sleep over it. All right, final one is actually a BVG, Beckett Grading Services, but the vintage style. It's a 1933 Tattoo Orbit Phil Collins, which I'm just happy to have finally back into the collection after several month hiatus. It's a PSA 2, and this one was a BVG 2. So consistent grading there. This one was, I'm sure, done quite a while ago. But I'm happy with it. Honestly, the main reason I sent this in as a crossover was I was literally just sending it because I had the others. Generally speaking, this card, I would have just cracked out and sent it in. I just wanted to have it slabbed uh, for my collection. Clearly, you can look at the card and see that it's not in great shape, but it's just part of my Phillies project. And in the future, if it's something like this that I didn't care if this got an authentic, a one, a two, or three, didn't really matter to me. In the future, I would definitely crack it out. Because one thing I do know is that the crossover grading is going to, generally speaking, take you longer. There's no way to move up your times. They only have a handful of people working in that department. So if you're looking for a slightly quicker turnaround, you snap it out, you send it in. You're still going to wait a while because PSA is getting hammered. But the crossover is a little longer. But overall, I think uh, we did okay. I'm certainly okay with mine. Hopefully, Anthony and Dustin are okay with theirs. But uh, I do like that they send you back the old flips. So you can just kind of take a peek at them if you didn't uh, write it down. So comment below. Let me know what you think of the PSA crossover submission. And I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.